All right, what's up guys? It is Josh back with another video and today's video I'm gonna be doing something a bit familiar to you guys if you guys have been subscribed for a long time and That's gonna be how to actually edit a gaming montage inside of DaVinci Resolve for 100% free This is gonna be a beginner's guide So I'm gonna be going over the absolute basics of how to edit gaming montages But if you guys do enjoy you learn something new make sure to like comment subscribe We're closing in on hundred thousand subscribers So every single bit of support means a lot but with that being said all links to downloads will be in the description I hope you guys do enjoy and I will see you guys on my PC. All right Right, guys i want to start off by saying that all of the presets shown in this video the effects as well as the transitions will be down below in the description for you guys to check out in a free preset pack so make sure to go check that out i put a little something together for you guys uh but once we have davinci resolve open the editing software we're going to be using all we're going to do is we're going to go into a new project and then from there we're going to name it montage tutorial november or something like that just whatever you want to name it this is just whatever your project name is going to be and it's going to take us inside of davinci resolve and the most important thing is you want to go inside of the editing tab when you actually start from there we're gonna go up to file project settings and edit our settings to appear the way that we want the video to be so 1920 by 1080 standard 60 fps and uh yeah that's just the traditional format for most videos the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a song so for me i'm gonna get this 637 godwin song drag it in and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to whatever folder that i have my gaming clips so keep in mind this is applicable to almost every single game but for me i'm gonna to be using Fortnite clips so for example I'm just gonna drag in like two different clips and then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in the song to our timeline from there we're gonna size it down a bit so we don't have a long long intro and the next thing we're gonna be covering is actually gonna be syncing so the first thing we want to do is we want to find our first beat drop of the song so that's gonna be right here we can see it's the peak in the audio level we're gonna press M on our keyboard while having the layer selected yeah, I hate all of this social interaction. And then we're gonna put up one on the next beat drop. And if you guys listen carefully, you'll hear a little clap after the beat. That's normally where I transition. So I'm gonna put a little marker there. Actually, we can make it a red marker to make it easier on us right there. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna be the portion that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna trim down the intro a bit. So this is literally all we're going to be using for the tutorial itself. So just let me reorganize the timeline. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our clip in, in here. We can see it's extremely longer than we need it to be, but we're actually gonna find the point where we get the kill. So in Fortnite, it actually is whenever we get shotgun pellets appearing on the screen, that's when we get the kill. So I'm gonna place a marker there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up this marker with where we've placed the beat drop. It's pretty self-explanatory. You wanna put the kills in the beat drop. So we are going to line. So should be good and then we will trim it after the kill right here and then drag it out at the beginning and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the second clip here i don't know why this captured the mic audio by itself but some clips are interesting you might have to uh, uh yep. i got an offer <laughs> <laughs> That's all right and then this one same exact thing we're gonna find where we get the kill so it's gonna be this frame right here trim it down which you can just drag on either side and then you're gonna line it up with the marker that we set I'm really liking that the way this is coming along together so the first thing we're gonna do once we have our clips synced up is we're gonna unlink the clips we're gonna right click on the clip itself not the audio track we're gonna go to retime controls we're gonna click on this black triangle right here we're going to add a speed point on the kill then after the kill we're going to change the speed to 50 percent and then what we're going to do is we're just going to resize this down and then we're going to do the exact same thing here so we're going to unlink three time controls black triangle add speed point on the kill change it to 50 percent and make sure you don't drag from the top because that'll put it back to the normal speed so just drag it down at 50 percent speed and just like that that's uh that's, pretty much it. That's how you do slow motion after your kills. So the next thing I'm going to be covering is how you could actually add transitions. So DaVinci Resolve offers built-in transitions right here, where you can just drag it on top and it will do like something like that. So it's super easy to do that if uh, if that's something that you want to do, or there is different push uh, and slide transitions. Just like this but i'm going to be showing you how to actually use the transitions inside of my preset pack that's in the description so all you want to do is download that make sure you have sapphire plugins installed you're going to drag an adjustment clip over top right here over top of the separation point which is between the two clips go to the middle 
go into the fusion tab here which is for effects and then you're going to find wherever you downloaded these transitions to so for me it's in this folder in the davinci folder swipe right transition let's say drag it in by pressing shift so it's connected to this line or what we can do is we can just disconnect this line manually connect them like that and then we'll pull up the keyframes and we can see that the keyframes are all the way over here. So we're just gonna drag them over to where we want them, just like that. So that should be good. Let me quickly. So that's how to do the movement transitions that are actually in my preset pack itself. Um, so we're just gonna put a marker on that and move it up a layer. So now I'm going to be showing you how to actually do effects with DaVinci Resolve's built-in effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to effects in our open effects library. If you don't see this, click on effects library. It'll pop up adjustment clip, start it at the kill. And then we're going to cut it at the separation point where the transition is. And we're going to go into the fusion tab for this right here. Um, close any extra tab you have open. So the fusion tab, all you got to do to add an effect is press control and space on your keyboard to, at the exact same time. It'll bring up this menu. Then you can look up whatever, like a glow effect or the first one I'm going to be showing you is a camera shake. So just look up whatever, uh, for me, it's going to be camera shake. And then you're literally going to drag it with your mouse and press shift at the same time and drag it onto this. So you're going to want to copy these settings. So the first shake I'm going to show you, turn your X deviation down to zero, your Y deviation down to zero. And I believe this one should be 0.45. The speed should be 0 0.09. Yeah, just like that. And then we're going to change the edges to mirror. So keyframe your overall strength to one at the beginning and then go to the ending keyframe it to let's say 0.2, something like that. Should be good and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy paste the shake and we're gonna get rid of these keyframes and instead now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a y shake so at the beginning keyframe the y deviation something like 0 0.6 and then we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames after we're gonna keyframe it to zero so that is a pretty good impact i'm not gonna lie and then if you want to add something like a glow effect, um, you can just add this glow right here, turn the glow size down and turn the blend up a bit. But I normally do a fast glow, so I'll keep, literally keep it in the glow like this. And I'll turn it down. So it's just a slight brightness at the beginning. And that's pretty much that. And if you want to slow down the resolution, go to playback, timeline, proxy mode, quarter resolution. Really improve the playback rate so then you could literally just drag this on the second kill if you wanted to and that's how you add your impacts so other than that if you want to do some color correction I'll show you how to do that real quick uh, you're just gonna click on whatever clip you want to alter go into the color tab sorry not the fusion tab and you are going to adjust the saturation if you want maybe the shadows um, color boost you want to decrease and like that could be a solid color correction but i mean that's pretty much that it's a basic tutorial uh for any sort of transitions on the impacts pretty much going to show you how i actually dragged it on so for example let's say that this is our preset right here and we have nothing yet so we're going to drag on our adjustment clip to the clip right here and we're going to cut it down a bit just so it doesn't cut everything off we'll literally start it at the kill and then what we'll do is we'll go into the adjustment tab paste the effect and copy it connect it to the one side right here and connect it out the other side that's pretty much it guys uh they'll i'll have a bunch of different ones in the description including some ones with sapphire effects if you guys have that installed um you can find tutorials on youtube for that for 100 free if i link it i'll get uh, my channel taken down so that's fun um but yeah if you guys did enjoy you learned something new i know this is super brief um deliver tab is self-explanatory that's how you render it out but uh, i thought i would quickly mention that before i ended the video just in case you guys are confused on how to render uh, but if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe hope this video helped you out a lot obviously this video applies to everything uh in terms of every single game if you guys want to see more videos like this leave me a comment down below i'll be actively answering as many questions as i can in the comment section but uh yeah hope you guys did enjoy learn something new and i will see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out